Good day, guys. Bing here. Um, today I'm going to do a quick one. <laughs> so this. So is is it possible to model this simple panel without Dynamo? Uh, maybe adaptive with a mod, yeah, uh, movable top point or uh, something else? Yes, adaptive family with a point. Okay, so let's uh, start. So first, uh, we need a generic model adaptive and uh, so point one, two, three, four, and at another point five. Okay, so point, I'll just place one, two, three, four, another point, and make them adaptive. Okay, so and then connect one and two, two and three, three and four, four and one. Okay, and then I'll just move this point up a little bit. Okay, and then connect one and five, four and five, three and five, and two and five. So now I'm going to select all these uh, model lines and change them to reference line. Okay, so now we s select three of them, create a form. Uh, where's my option? Uh, no, can't say. Click anywhere and de delete the top uh, surface. Okay, so I'll try. So I just I was uh, recommended with a method when there's no option. So zoom out a little bit. I'll say, oh, great, it works. Great, thanks. Uh, yeah, so that's some good suggestion. So when uh, there's no option, so we just need to zoom out. Uh, pick the wrong one. Anyway, so one, two, three, zoom out a little bit, create a form. The one on the, oh, hang on. Ah, interesting. Same. Oh, that, the one on the right, maybe. Anyway, so that's it. And then, of course, we can, so maybe just uh, top a glass. And, uh, uh, I'm not going to model all the, the you you can you can modeling the frames it's very simple right so just uh, I would recommend just create another adaptive family with two points create a frame and place them on here so it's easier so now this is it <laughs> okay so this is it so um, we just need to create let's create a a, a mass okay or even maybe just create a project. Let's create a project and then use a model in place mask to place this adaptive family. So uh, let's um, let's model in place M mass and OK and OK. So I'm going to um, just to do it as uh, just one draw one uh, uh, reference line or maybe even just curve. Let's try curved. OK, so uh, maybe uh maybe spline okay so okay so select it create a form so let's uh, have a look in 3d view so this is it and then we can increase the height okay so now select it create a form uh oh sorry wrong one not create a form divide divide a surface okay so divide a surface and so yeah i think that's it so now we can load this family into here so now uh before we place we need to turn on the uh, nodes so we can place adaptive family on them so one two three four we have a fifth fifth point we don't need we don't need to place it we can just escape to finish it okay so escape again so you can see we have this one so I'll change to shade SD so we can see the glass right so and then we can just click on repeat okay and then we count um, to in order to change them individually so we have to remove the repeater first after we remove the repeater so see we can just pick the point you can adjust the point okay so just pick the point you can adjust point just uh, just change the point manually okay 
so very easy simple right so so this is how we can do it without dynamo without even any parameters so we can just uh, adjust so you can also adjust this uh, in horizontal direction as well right yeah so this is it so um, yeah it's a little bit too short <laughs> so let's just add some frame so uh, to add the frame so we just create another uh, generic model adaptive and just place two points make them adaptive and create a spline through points make them uh, make it reference line place a point use draw on face place onto this create a uh, reference so i'm going to just, just use uh you can use any shape i'll use circle because it's uh, easier <laughs> so you can use a, a, a rectangular but uh, uh it can be uh, uh trick trick here to you know add parameters you know control the size but it, it's 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 possible okay so for this one i'm going to oh hell so we need to set work plan first so reference circle draw on work plan set work plan pick and create a circle so i'm going to just add a radius parameter for it um i'll just make it um maybe just diameter because usually uh we in real world we use uh, more likely to use diameter right so and then we can create a parameter so let's call it d d okay and and also um i think uh ch just change it now maybe make it um 100 200 maybe okay so now we have this and then i'll select them cc pick the point pick new holes place it drag this point to this end drag this point to the other end so because this is a straight one so we don't need to select the path when we create a form if the if we have a, a third uh, point and uh, this is a curved line we need to select this uh, path together with the pro uh, profiles okay so but this is a straight we don't have to so just need to select this profile together with this one so and then we can create a form okay so you can add a parameter for the material as well just by clicking here and create a parameter for the material so now this is it now i'm going to load this one into the family okay before we before i place because i don't want to place onto the edge of this form right so so i'm going to select all these and type h h just temporarily uh, hide none so now the only thing i can place uh, that family on is are uh, sorry are uh, these uh, reference lines so now go to create component okay so now this is a frame type i uh, uh, uh sorry se snap endpoint so you can very easily just snap onto the endpoint and type se again and tab in so that's how you can quickly do it se se tab okay se se tab okay so now we have this now we can type hr to bring back the the panels so currently these these are just um zero um, not zero but yeah surface there's no thickness but if you want to you can always drag these to create some uh, thickness but for this one for this exercise I, I don't think we need thickness for it so let's load this one into a project and overwrite and have a look go to uh, let, let it um, finish it okay there okay in the same okay so that's fine so this is because we have all these frame like when they repeat you know we will have you know exactly the same um not a big issue unless um you need to you know like uh, schedule them more yeah but uh, for graphic it's uh it's okay i think so now uh the frame looks too too 
thick. I mean, ch let's try because I think because it's a uh, adaptive family by default, it's uh, uh, also a shared shared family, which means currently in the project we can tab select this frame and edit pri uh, uh, edit type, and we can change the diameter. Okay, so let's just change this one, so we can make it, uh, the slimmer. So let's have a look again. Yeah, good. Go back. That's it. Okay, so maybe it's a little too slim. So I'll just make it uh, 150 in the middle. So, yep, I think this is it. Um, adaptive family, five points, adaptive family. Okay, so and then with a, with a, a point, so not place onto anything. So which means we can select, oh, uh, yeah. Lost. Let's see how. Oh, it's a little bit hard to select now because we have all these, um, all these uh, family there. So I'll try. Maybe let's try. Um, how do we? Hang on, just one sec. I'll see how we can easily. So you can see it's not the first one we're going to pick. So it's the first one, the whole thing. And then once I tab, it goes through the one, two, three. Ah, that's the one. So it's, yeah, it's a little bit tricky. It's a little bit hard to. If I'll see if I can type IC. <laughs> It works, but because the points are vis invisible, so it's, uh, it's very hard to, you know, yeah, you can do it. You can easily pick, but uh, you can't see them. So let's type HR, bring them back. Maybe, let me think. So these are generic model. Um, maybe we can, you know, we can do this. So I'll go back to here, go back here. So I select all these. Maybe we can add a visibility parameter so we can temp temporarily uh, like hide them. So when, when we need to, to adjust the these families, so let's create. I'll just call it a uh, visibility. Okay, it's with, with a, a temp, temp, temp visibility. Okay, so typo instance. Okay, okay, loaded this back, overwrite, overwrite. Okay, so now go to 3D view, select them um, S A. Ah, oh, it won't let me to you it won't let me use S A, but I think ah oh, doesn't work. Yeah, it works. Okay, great. So we can if we can't use S A, so we have to use select manually, right? So and then yeah, I'll check this box. So now we can just temporarily, temporarily, yep, hide all the frame in the middle. So which means we can easily, you know, adjust the point, right? Great. That's how we can do it. So adaptive five points, adaptive uh, family with one point, the last point in. Uh, not placed on anything, which means we can adjust this point very easily in any directions. Okay, so and then once once you're happy, so we can just select all of them. Uh, just make sure you filter out anything else, and then go to that parameter. Just turn on the frame and. Uh, That's it. Okay, so so this is it. Um, um, if you have any questions, uh, please let me know. I don't think the, I need to upload this family because it's very very simple. If you just watch this video, right? So that's all. Um, let me know if you have any questions, um, and also uh, yeah, because I start to use the. Um, 
Reddit、uh, community to post, so so it's e it's e I think it's easier for you to just post a、uh, request or question us, and I will all, all, always uh, um, uh, provide feedback as well. Okay, so that's all. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.